please give it up for Jason Mitchell. I'm up here with Steve Harvey, baby. Yeah, you know, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? I know my mama watching this. <laughs> <laughs> You always want to do something to make your mama proud. You For know? real, you know, and they got a few moments in your life where, like, you actually made it. Yeah. And the Steve Harvey show is one of the moments, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. I'm happy to be here. Man. Yeah. Uh, it's a pleasure meeting you, man. Same here. Uh, I got to tell you, man, I, I watched straight out of Compton. That was so spot on, Thank man. You. The Thank acting you. was amazing, man. And your portrayal of Easy e what, what was it like, man, portraying? A legendary rapper. What was that like? For you know, it was it was crazy because he was such a bigger than life person. You know what I mean? So I had to really go over and beyond. Like, you know, I had to meet with his grandmother and meet with all the family members and, and just remember that he was a man just like I was a man. And you know, he put his pants on just like I put my pants on. And I figured if I start in his household, you know, I could make the world happy. You came into acting, man, uh, yeah. at a very interesting time in your life. Tell yeah. us about that. Um, well, anybody who knows me knows um, I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, you know, proud representative, but yeah, thank you. Yeah, definitely clap it up, clap it up. But um, in 2005, I was 18, and that's when Katrina hit, right after I graduated high school, you know, and I was like scrambling. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I just kind of had odd jobs and just, you know, sort of just cooking and shucking oysters and that sort of thing. And I was like, you know what? I just need some new friends. Let me just start there. So. Mm. I went to this acting class, this random acting class that I just heard about on the radio, and I just really fell in love with it. It was something that I was actually good at. You know what I mean? And I'm like, wow, every, all these little small nothings that I've been through in my life are starting to add up to something. You know what I yeah. mean? And before you know it, I was doing straight out of Compton. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what, though? I love when I hear young cats like you talk about the test that you went through. Right. But now you got something to talk about. You know, every time you hit a hard bump in the road, it's for a reason. Don't give up. Just deal with it. You know, you're going to be fine, man. Right. You were also in Mud, Mudbound, and you were in Detroit. Yeah. You played some compelling characters in here, man. Thank you. Thank you. How do you prepare for these roles, man? Every character that I build, I, I start with their opinion. Like, let's say you have a line, right, that says, Jason, I don't like birthdays. But if you have a backstory that says, when I was six years old, my mom, who was on heroin really bad, smashed a cake in my face and ruined my whole birthday party, that's why I don't like birthdays, then it comes out a little bit different. You know right. what I mean? And it has a lot more essence. So in all of my characters, I have all of that prepared already. You can ask me what happened when I was 13 years old with X, Y, Z, and I can just tell you, you know? And I, I dig into it like that. So I think it comes out good. I yeah, that's, good. that's amazing, man, because all of us, we're the sum total of our past. Exactly. If you try to erase moments, you leaving off pieces that you need. Right. See, coming up in the hood made me a survivor. Exactly. So no matter what they do to me or say about me out here, what you gonna do to me that ain't happened already? Right, we from the hood. You don't even matter to me, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's really right. Right. Hey man, tell me about your character, Brandon, man, and, and what we can expect from him on well, this new season. In, in season one, he loses his brother, and he can't really catch a break, you know? In season two, you see him really excel with this food truck, which is great for me because I really used to cook. So for me to be able to take what I had from my past and put it with a new character, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just, it's, it's everything in the world to me. So for everybody to love it, it's just like, I feel like they love me, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. All right, man, let's talk about this. You got two beautiful little girls. Yes, Royce and Rajay, that's my heart. Your young father. What do you want for your daughters, man? You know, I think if, I can consistently show my daughter how a man should treat a woman and always be honest with them and always be open with them. I think we'll always have a bond that's unbreakable by anybody else. You know yeah. what I mean? So, that's true. Yeah, that's what I yeah. hope. Hey, man, I got a lot of respect for you, man. I appreciate that. You won me over, man. You a bad boy. Congratulations. Man, thank you. Big love, everybody. Yeah. One more time, Jason Mitchell. Oh. And you can catch the premiere of the new season of The Shy. Sunday, April 7th, on Showtime at 10 p.m. Jason Mitchell, everybody, we'll be right back. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. 
I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.